It's February 28th and you know what that means. It is officially membership day and we can't wait to celebrate the wonderful world of memberships. Everyone who runs one, everyone who joins one and everything in between. So let's get this party started. You're listening to the Membership Geeks podcast, bringing you proven practical tips and advice from the leading experts on growing a successful membership business each and every week. And now here are your hosts, Mike Morrison and Callie Willows. Well, hello there. Welcome to episode 344 of the Membership Day podcast. We're actually releasing a day early because it's a very special day, isn't it, Callie? It is. It is a very special day indeed. It is officially, oh well, we hope officially. (laughs) Officially to us. Officially to us and to all of you, it is officially Membership Day. You know, it was one of those things that kind of blew us away that there wasn't already a membership day. Like, that's a travesty, right? It really, really is. When Chucky the Doll from the Child's Play series has his own celebration official awareness day, and when National Jump in a Puddle and Splash Your Friends Day is actually a thing, how in the world do memberships not have their own day? I don't know, but I am slightly concerned that those two are things. To be honest with you. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Let's let's not delve too deep into what that means about us as a society <laughs> that, that we've decided to officially recognise those two of many, many crazy things that have their own day. But we are championing, championing the, <laughs> the 28th of February. I can't even get my words out, let alone champion anything. Too excited? Too excited? I am. I am too excited. A little bit tipsy. I'm not. Just disclaimer. Callie hasn't let me get celebratory cocktails for this. We are championing the official membership day, February 28th, a day to share a bit of love, shine a bit of light on the wonderful world of online memberships. All of you find people who run them, the people who join them, people who make them work, the people who build the tools that we all use every day in our membership. We all deserve a bit of love, right? We do. We do. Yes. So hopefully... If you're listening to this and you're picking it up early in the morning, you're going to take the opportunity to talk about your membership, talk about memberships that you're in, maybe share some wins or successes that your members have been achieving. If you do that, share them on social media, hashtag membership day, or tag us at membership geeks as well, and we'll share them. But this isn't about us, it's about you. And we thought as part of our way of celebrating membership day, we do a special episode all about how running a membership can really impact and really change your life. And we thought not only would we talk a bit about the impact memberships have had on our lives, on our business, we talk a bit broadly about um, ways that memberships can can impact your life and what we kind of see as the main um, the, the main things in that area, but also people from within our community, um, we're going to share a little bit from them too about how having a membership has made a big difference for them. Can you tell I'm overexcited? I'm not even like Callie getting a, a word in edge was I'm going to get so much heat about this from people saying I'm not letting <laughs> I'm not letting Callie speak enough. It's all right. My time will come. My time will come. It is. I think anyone who's been listening to the revamped Membership Geeks podcast already knows that the bits where you speak, you get a lot more from them than the bits where I speak. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. So, how does running a membership impact your life? Like why should people start a membership? What can they expect um, to to change, to benefit from, to enjoy as a membership owner? I think it really breaks down to what we like to call the three Fs. Yes. So it's all about those three Fs, freedom, flexibility, and fulfillment. I think most successful membership site owners will say that that is, that's the impact, essentially. That's what memberships have done for them. They've given them that freedom, given them flexibility, and most of all, most importantly of all, I would say, given them fulfillment as well. Definitely. And, you know, I'm sure there will be some people who are listening to the show who came to the world of memberships um, for the potential for how much money they can make or how successful they could be. And, you know, that's not something that we put at the heart of, of what we teach about memberships. But the financial side definitely plays a part, particularly when it comes to the freedom side of things. Um, So, 
I mean, let's go straight for the <laughs> let's go straight for the one that everyone loves most, the financial side. Because the money that you can make from a membership certainly plays a big, big part in giving you that freedom. Yeah, I think the fact that memberships are that recurring revenue, it means that you've got a comfort blanket, essentially. You're not starting from zero every month when it comes to your income. And that can buy you a huge amount of freedom, both mentally in terms of actually not having to worry about, well, how much money am I going to make this month? What's What am I going to do to actually get some money? But also, yeah, that financial freedom, you already have that idea of, okay, so even if nothing else changed, this is what I've got to play with this month. And yeah, also just that, that time freedom as well, because you know that revenue is coming in and what you have to do to get it. It's not a case of trading time for money to continue to make that income. Definitely. You know, when you are billing per hour, you're limited by how many hours you can build. You're limited by how much you can work. So if you need to, you know, make more money this month, or if you've been kind of struggling to reach a certain point financially, you know you're going to have to tether yourself to your desk, right? You're going to have to chain yourself to your work and grind out those billable hours. And really, I think when you're trading time for money, that success is tied to how many billable hours you can grind out. So more success means less freedom, in a lot of ways, yeah. like literally, because you're just cooped up in an office at your desk, just trying to put in more hours that you will get paid for, whereas the membership completely contrasts that. Yeah, it definitely does. And I think that is, I think that's probably the reason that most of us get into membership sites. It's certainly one of the main reasons a lot of people approach us about starting a membership site is to have that kind of financial stability move away from that trading time for money but there's a lot of other freedoms that come with that as well so i mentioned before it's a lot less stressful it's there's there's a mental freedom that can come yeah. with running a membership site once you've got that predictable reliable revenue and not just revenue but also routine as well because most membership sites you're working on a set cycle you know what you need to deliver each month and so actually you can you can accommodate that you can create a routine for that which makes life so much easier it definitely does and every hour of your time that you spend is just better leveraged. It's having more of an impact. It's not like when you're working for a client and you do one hour and you get paid your $50 or your $80 or whatever it is, and that hour is gone. The output of that hour is basically just the money you got paid for it, right? With a membership, you can spend an hour creating a, a couple of tutorial videos, and those are there permanently in your membership. You've increased the value of your membership from that hour, which could help you bring in, even if it's just bringing in one or two new members every single month because of that thing you just created for the time you spent, that's going to pay off dividends in perpetuity. And so freedom from being, from having what you put in directly coupled with what you get out that is a game changer. And definitely when it comes to the stress side of things as well, um, you know, knowing you don't have that monkey on your back of, I'm only going to make money this month if I do this work. Because with the recurring revenue, it compounds and it builds on each other. So you're not starting from zero every single month. So I think you kind of said those magic words that for me, which are kind of knowing that if I don't do anything else, I know this is where I'm going to be at this month. So if I don't do a marketing campaign, if I don't do anything other than kind of show up and and, and do the live Q&As that my members are expecting, if I take a few weeks out, you've still got that higher starting point than you would do if you're trading time for money. And that's a massively freeing thing. So it's not just the, the freedom that comes from making more money because absolutely the potential what you can make with a membership is far higher than with, with um, trading time for money. And obviously money gives you options and options can equal freedom. But the freedom from stress, the freedom from commitment or needing to, that sounds like it's very, you know, it's a lazy business model, <laughs> but the, the, the freedom from, having to um, you know, put up with crazy clients and demanding deadlines, the freedom from knowing 
my earning potential this month is is completely tied to if I can do this work and if this client pays me on time and it's relying on me not losing a client because that's another big thing as well with training time for money you're probably only going to have capacity to work on a handful of clients at a time. If you lose one of those clients or one of them doesn't pay you or you fall out with one of them or they ask you to do something you don't want to do, that can be a massive chunk of the money you make that month. Whereas, of course, you don't want to lose members, but if you lose one or two members this month, it's not going to kill your business. Yeah, and it's a lot easier to recoup that as well. And I think for me that one of the biggest keys with with a membership and one of the biggest ways it can impact your life is you're totally in control of it. Yeah. You you know, we often say you should create your membership on your own terms. Think about what you actually want to do and and how you want to show up in your business and you can create your membership around that. And to me that's the ultimate freedom in a business model because you're not having to set to uh, stick to set expectations or set standards you you really can kind of play and and create what you want yeah you've got the freedom to do things your own way you've got freedom from the the typical sort of limits that other types of business have you've got freedom that comes from the options that making more money gives you the the increasing safety net which you know frees you from having to compromise on things it's fantastic so again you're hearing this all from us. We love memberships. We are membership geeks. We are the biggest geeks about the membership world. So let's hear a little from some people within our community um, about the freedom or the uh, that the having a membership has enabled them to experience and some of the other benefits of being a membership owner. Hey, Mike, Callie, Scott from IT Rockstars. So for me, running a membership site has changed my life. Um, in various ways, it's kept me extremely busy, kept me out of mischief, um, but it's also given me a path to something that I can actually scale. Um, when I first started IT Rockstars, it was very much a, an SEO marketing agency for IT companies, um, and I realized that I couldn't scale that business um, quickly, whereas with a membership site, teaching things like SEO um, is um, allows me to um, scale the business um, Beyond, beyond what I could ever do, even with a team of people um, in a sort of agency model. So that's probably the, the biggest thing for me um, is the uh, the vision that I have for, for like five years down the line for IT rock stars. And realistically, I could get there um, quite easily if I just follow the steps and just keep adding the members every month without losing as many. So that's uh, that's um, what it's, uh, it's done for me in my life. I um, moved into a a really big house as well, um, which is um, amazing and um, allows me to travel the world. Um, so there's there's so many things that it's changed, um, but it is a lot of hard work. Considering that my industry was shut down, it gave me something to do. That's been the biggest impact. Like, I don't know what I would have done. I really don't know. I've seen so many people be depressed and just feel lost. And I did feel, I had my own like breakdown days where I'm like, my whole city's closed. I'm not even living in my city right now. Like I, the what I used to do every day for my life is just completely gone, and it's just it's very depressing. It's like you feel like you're having this identity crisis. But this was like every day that I got to work on this. It's like okay, I'm in my element. I'm doing the things I already teach. It it kept me probably sane. It kept me excited and motivated and all those kinds of things. And now it's given me the freedom of I don't have to be before like when I was teaching these things. It's like I had to be at this university at this time, or if I was working with a program in New York, I'd have to be there these mornings. And it's now it's, I can design it around my life. So it's much more, I have much more freedom and it's the stability of it. Like, I don't have to rely on someone calling me to have me come in and teach something. Like I have my membership recurring income now. So those are like icing on the cake. When someone calls me to come in and teach, that's just extra bonus money on top. But I still have my kind of, this is my main bread and butter. And obviously like most of my income still comes from my directing and choreography. That's my like main job. This is more side <laughs> or like secondary thing, even though it feels like the last year and a half, it's been more of my main thing just because of the nature of the pandemic. But I do think that it's given me that just, I don't have to worry now about trying to fill in the gaps of in between shows I'm directing. I don't have to worry about, okay, how am I going to fill in the gaps with this? I already know that. And even when I'm doing the directing shows, I'm still also making that money from the membership. So it's just like that extra, you know, comfort that you're getting. On our life, it's completely changed our life for the better. There's always a give and take. There's always the positives and and negatives to everything. But 
overall, this has just been the most amazing experience. The flexibility we have now, the, the, the growth potential now, you can't get this kind of growth potential in a nine to five job. You just can't. It doesn't exist. They're not going to give me that those kind of raises. But if I work harder at this membership site and grow it, I create my own raise essentially by working. You don't have that in a nine to five job. You can work really hard and you might not get a raise for years. So I love the fact that I'm in control of essentially my own success. And as, as far as what it's done for our family and the business, the business is just booming. The business is clearly needed. People need this in their lives. People need this help. So I'm helping a lot of people and I feel really good about that. And yeah, the fact that my husband's now involved, it's a fun team effort now. Hopefully our kids will be CRNAs. So I've, I've had a lot of fun with it. All right. So that was Scott Miller from IT Rockstars, Jim Cooney from Amplified Artists and Jenny Fennell from CRNA Prep School, talking a bit about how having a membership has impacted their lives. And that theme of freedom obviously there's various things they touched on but that theme of freedom very much coming through in what they were talking about for scott it's having something that he can scale you know that freedom from the restrictions of the agency model and you know what he was doing before the membership's just so much more scalable for him but also the trappings yeah, I love that he's been able to buy a big house, travel, create a lifestyle for himself and his family that he loves. Absolutely. And yeah, he's definitely reaping the benefits of the freedom that having a membership can give you. And with Jim from Amplified Artists, that stability, that freedom from a lot of the um, ramifications of the pandemic, having that membership, the stability that that was able to give him during such a challenging time, particularly for his industry, you know, that whole performing arts world was massively hit over and over again during the pandemic. And so being freed up from the panic that that can cause through having the membership that gave them that stability to enable them to ride that out and to help others do the same. Again, massively, massively impactful. It means so much. And of course, Jenny talking about having that control over her own success. Yeah, and and just the ability to scale as well in an industry that, you know, you wouldn't typically associate with things like memberships or online training as well. Absolutely. So, definitely top of the list, first one. Again, this is this is what you will find most people come to memberships in pursuit of. That freedom, financial freedom, freedom from stress, freedom from restrictions, from limits, um, but also kind of Leading on from that, you have the second F, which is flexibility. And that really is, first and foremost, I think for us, the flexibility to do things your own way. Yeah, definitely. And I think flexibility is one of my favorite things because, you know, if we want to take a month off and travel the world and still keep up with our members, we can. You know, you can work from anywhere. You can work anytime. You can decide to take a morning off and it's not going to impact on your ability to serve your members or make money or or anything like that. As we talked about under freedom, you know, you set the terms of your membership and that includes when and where you work as well. Definitely. And you get to choose. You get to design what your business looks like. Design your membership model around what works best for you. If you don't want to do four live calls per month because it feels like too much work or too much commitment or it's just too much of a hassle because you've got to pick the kids up from school on an evening, but you know that if you did live calls, it always need to be in the evening. You can just design your offering, design your membership around that. If you don't want to do lots of live calls, don't do it. If you don't want to create courses, if you hate content creation, and actually you prefer, um, you know, you, you prefer Zoom calls, you prefer that sort of informal environment, fantastic. Create a or design a membership model that isn't based on lengthy course and content creation, and is all about those kind of things that you prefer that work best for you. And the great thing with a membership as well is that you have that flexibility anytime. A membership isn't fixed, you know, by their very nature, memberships are always evolving. And so you can change the membership as you need to as well. So if your circumstances change, if even if something just changes one month and you need to change things, you can do that. You have that flexibility with a membership because it's not a one and done product. It's not a fixed product. It's always evolving. Absolutely. So the flexibility of being able to do things the way you want to do them, 
run the type of business you want to run. And as long as, you know, you're, what you're promising matches up with what you're delivering, what you're delivering can be anything you want. Sure, there might be some people who don't want to join a membership where there aren't any courses, where it is just it's just community and it's coaching calls. There might be people who who just want content and so, yeah, they're not going to join your membership, but that's fine. They don't need to because there'll be other people who that appeals to even more than it would if you had a big library of content they have to they have to watch. So again, that flexibility to do it your way, to do it in a way that works best for you, to design a model that fits your life, fits your goals, fits your preferences, and to change that model over time. We always talk about memberships being an evolution. The membership you have today will not look the same in a year's time, will not look the same in five years' time. They're always evolving, always changing. They're not a fixed product. It's not like with an online course where generally you try and create the absolute best version of that thing. You finish it off, create the definitive article, you finish it, and then you start selling it. With a membership, you're always going to be moving. You're always going to be changing. You're always going to be trying new things, taking things away that just aren't working for you and your members. And that flexibility that's just inherent in the membership model makes for a lot of benefits for you as the membership owner too. Yeah, and I particularly enjoy it because it means you also never get bored yeah. as well. You know, you're not, you know, you can certainly have a fixed routine if you want to, but that flexibility means that you can adapt and change both what you're doing and the membership as well. Absolutely. And this is where, you know, the flexibility of the membership world pairs up with the freedom aspect too. Um, going back to what we're saying about the flexibility of working wherever you want. Whenever you want. Whenever you want, <laughs> for however long you want. Because, again, you're not churning out billable hours. You're not having to be tied to a nine to five. You're not worrying about, oh, okay, well, if I go on holiday, uh, what will happen? I need to meet with this prospect or I need to do this. Or if, I, if I'm not feeling too great this morning, do I have to cancel this meeting? Like, you don't have those things generally with a membership. And so you have complete flexibility over where, when, and how you work. And that can be a massive game changer. I know Jim, who um, who we heard from in the, the, the previous segment um, from Amplified Artists, you know, he was able to maintain his membership while he was traveling around Europe. He would come along because obviously he's a member of Membership Academy. He'd come along to some of the calls and, you know, In he's... Italy with his glass of wine, yeah, making he's, us all jealous. Exactly. <laughs> he's, he's, he's living that laptop lifestyle um, and maintaining and running a successful membership while he does it. And again, that lifestyle aspect... You know, some people demonize the idea of a lifestyle business. Why on earth they would ever do that is insane. They somehow seem to think that a lifestyle business can also be a successful one, which is just patently not true. Um, but, you know, the ability to spend quality time with your loved ones, to take holidays whenever you want, to sleep late, to finish early, to just not work at all. Man, you can't put a price tag on that, as both Warren and Craig will attest to, who we're going to hear from right now. Hey, Mike and Callie, thank you for this experience, for sharing my thoughts on the membership. My name is Warren McPherson from PianoLessonWithWarren.com, where we teach gospel musicians how to play piano by ear. So the, the impact that having a membership has had on my life is amazing. It's life-changing. Sometimes it feels like a dream. Um, the first big thing is the revenue. The revenue that I now make, I have surpassed <laughs> most of my professors that I studied with. I've surpassed most people I know in my circle in terms of revenue. And I never thought a guy with a music degree would be able to pull in that much annual revenue while sitting in his room at home, just doing what he loves. And so for me, having a membership is like a hobby. I get up every day, I get to do what I want, when I want, how I want, and share my journey along with my audience. One of the biggest things also that having a membership has done for me is the level of freedom it allows me to spend with my family. I don't start working until noon every day. I spend the morning with my family. And then by six o'clock, I'm out. <laughs> family time again. So I really get to do what I want when I want. I work from home. So it's super flexible. And most of the stuff I can do on the go, on my phone, on my tablet. And so it's really 
and ease. I work way less than 40 hours a week and I can get up and take a week or two off without worrying about revenue or having to talk to a boss, ask for time off. So it's just, it's super freeing. So those are the things that I find uh, super life-changing for me. It's the revenue, the time I spend with my family, and the fact that I get to get up every day and do what I love. So it doesn't feel like work. Having a membership is the best thing I could have ever hoped for. So thank you, Mike and Callie, for helping me along that journey. And so I think and in terms of just stabilizing our life, we no longer have to live in this uncertainty of where our business is going. It's growing. It's grown since we started in 2016. We've grown every launch up until now. And we're not, except for, I should say, except for the people that freaked out in March of 2020 and canceled their membership initially. But then we had our best year ever in our company. And then it just took off for the next eight months after that. And so I think it stabilized us and, it, and it's helped us to have a great lifestyle. I love working with my wife. Like that is uh, just a gift. And so being able to have that and again, not to have to be tied to a nine to five, even though we work hard, we work on our own terms. It's been uh, super rewarding, even for our kids to see. I have a couple of my girls are very entrepreneurial now. One has a Shopify site selling clay jewelry. The other one's a wedding photographer. And it's not like we forced them into entrepreneurship. They're now like, they're just running with it. And it's just cool to see them get creative with their businesses. So we just heard from Warren McPherson from Piano Lesson with Warren and Craig Cannings from Freelance University. And, you know, we were saying just before we heard from them about this idea that a lifestyle business can't also be a successful business. But right off the bat, Warren is making more money than he ever thought was imaginable. He surpassed his professors and all these people that he kind of looked up to and who who were kind of seen as the pinnacle within his industry. So he's successful financially, but actually what's more important is the flexibility. Yeah, he gets to spend time with his family. He gets to do what he wants, when he wants. He gets to move across the country, which he never thought would be possible with his previous job. So yeah, just huge benefits to that flexibility. Absolutely. And again, that working flexibility Craig's talking about with not being tied to a nine to five, just that itself, just if that was the only benefit you got from a membership, I mean, that's just a game changer in terms of how it affects your lifestyle. And Craig's talked about that being one of the main ways in which how the membership impacted him too. So the flexibility element on top of the freedom from stress, the financial freedom, just being able to control your own narrative, control your own business, design and do things the way you want, when you want. I mean, and that's the dream, right? And, yeah, and I think if you've got a family in particular, it gives you the ability to spend time with your children that other business models just don't. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You were kind of pulling on the heartstrings a little bit there. <laughs> Start a membership for your kids. Gave me people. lots of time to spend with my cat. Yeah, lots of time to spend with the cat. Lots of time to spend. But you know what? It doesn't have to be a spend time with the kids. It just if you just really want to play video games more, which we do, <laughs> then you have the flexibility to do that. Yeah. Do whatever you want. You can adapt. You don't have to say no to other developments in your life because you know that actually that nine to five grind is always going to be something that is inflexible. It's just a total game changer. You don't and have to ask permission. Exactly. You don't. I like that. That's a good way of putting it. And all of that, I would say, is pretty fulfilling. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. A membership can be one of the most fulfilling things you will ever do because it combines the benefits of being able to use the skills, the things that light you up inside, that make your tail work. It enables you to work with people that you're passionate about helping and that light you up inside. And it enables you to make a real difference or a real impact on the world, whether that's teaching somebody how to knit scarves or teaching somebody to run their own business to feed their family. There's, you know, memberships are one of the most fulfilling models because of how it affects your life, but also how you're able to then affect your members' lives. Yeah, it's it's the work, the work that you're doing the way you spend your day. You know, it's one thing to kind of say, okay, if you run a business and it can make you great money and it can free you from stress and it can, you know, be flexible and enable you to work how you want, when you want. But the work itself kind of sucks, just so you know that. You won't enjoy the work, but you'll have freedom and flexibility around it. With a membership, actually, the work itself is probably one of the most fulfilling aspects because you are working with your people. Memberships are all about you, you're 
you're assembling pockets of passionate people, people who love what you love, who want to learn and develop more, whose journeys you get to see over the long term. I mean, the amount of times we we ran an agency before and there'd be times you'd work with a client and your relationship with them ended really when you were helping them to take their first step. You were getting them up and running online and then your job was done. You would part ways and you don't get to be part of that journey afterwards. With a membership, you're there for the journey. You're their guide, you're their friend, you're taking them along, they're in your community. You see them develop, you see them succeed, you see them fail and then rebound from it. And that just alone is fulfilling. Yeah. Is that word coming back? <laughs> it, it really is so different to what a lot of other types of working relationships with our customers can be. And you get to see the difference you're making for people who you will really care about because the very fact they're in your membership comes from a place of them just being passionate about the same sort of thing that you are. Yeah, and you're able to help and impact people on a much larger scale as well. This isn't one-to-one, -one, so you're you're actually able to, to help a lot more people than you otherwise could as well, which again, just ratchets up that fulfillment. And, you know, as my, my role model, Leslie Nope says, you get to work hard at work worth doing. Yeah, I like that. And that is, I think, the scale of it as well. The fact that, you know, in Membership Academy, we've had thousands of people, thousands of people either launch or grow or improve their membership. Thousands. Like, and it's I, kind of mind-blowing yeah, when not you think I'm about not it. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> repeating that as a brag. This isn't meant to be a humble, uh, humble brag. It's that thing I'm, I'm literally, as we're recording, looking at Cali with kind of, it, it's thousands. How How is that possible that people just sitting in a in their rooms in Newcastle upon Tyne have impacted that many people? Like, it's nuts. Yeah, it, it, it feels <laughs> wrong when you say yeah, that. <laughs> but you, you get to do that. You get to do that as a membership owner. You get to make a real difference. And a big, big thing that I really think ramps up the fulfillment for me in particular, because this is an area where I used to feel especially unfulfilled in my career and in my early days freelancing and through the agency, is the fact you get to flex your muscles. You get to use all the tools in your arsenal, your full skill set. And that doesn't always happen. How many of you listening will have been in jobs where you know you can do so much more? You know, if you were just given the chance or the opportunity to shine, you would blow people away and you would get so much further, but your job mandates that you do X, Y, and Z. You don't do the rest of the alphabet. That's not your place. And if you do, actually, it's probably more likely to land you in trouble, right? How many times have you had a client where if you're a designer, you're a creative, you want to do, you know, you could do so many incredible things for them. You could create the most amazing brand identity. You could design a phenomenal website. You do all of this, but they just want you to design a, a business card and a compliment slip. And every client just wants a business card and a compliment slip designed. They don't care about what else you can do. They don't, uh, you just don't overdo it. Do it as cheap and as quick as you can do it. Does that sound familiar? Maybe not if you're not a designer, but anyone in a creative space, anyone in any space, I think, has so much more that they're capable of, but so rarely get the opportunity to actually tap into that. With a membership, you get to, use your full skill set because it's your thing and because it's so multifaceted and there's so many different um, moving parts to a membership where you can be of use, where your skills can be put to the test, where you get to really do work worth doing. Yeah, definitely. And I think for me, the fulfillment comes from actually connecting with members, with actually building those relationships, with seeing them go from, from their starting point to the finish line, from seeing them create memberships that help them to feed their families or help them to fund that lifestyle that they want. And, you know, that kind of connection with your members is just one of the most amazing things about having a membership for me. So there's so many different sources of fulfillment when it comes to running a membership site. You've already heard some of our favorites, but we're going to hear from Pippa, Kaylee, Nicola and Susan now about what running a membership site means to them. Hi, Kelly and Mike. It's Pippa from the PR set here. 
What a great question. I think having a membership has done two things for me. Firstly, it's allowed me to build some really great connections with fellow small business owners. I've created the most brilliant community of um, people who are getting amazing results for their business and being part of their journey and then achieving the results. And it's just, I love it so much. And I love the fact that I have that ongoing, continued building relationships with them. And secondly, it's allowed me to build a business that is really true to my values and about exactly what I want to do and what I want to put out in the world. So it's allowed me to pick my kids up from school, to have the flexibility, but to also work with the people that I want to work with and have an impact with the people that are important to me. So thank you for all your help and advice. Um, And if anyone out there is wondering whether they should do a membership, my answer would be to go for it. Having a membership is the best decision that I have ever made in my whole life. Uh, Probably also having my child and probably also marrying the love of my life. But like in my top three is having a membership. I love it because it takes every little thing that I'm good at, that I really enjoy doing, and it puts them all into a business. I love, above all, the connection that happens inside of memberships. As an immigrant, I I don't know, you get lonely, and having a membership really facilitates true human connection and the magic that comes from that. I absolutely love running my membership. Like, I never intended to do this and I think one of the challenges for me at the beginning was a lot of imposter syndrome about I just I just made a book and put a Facebook group with it and now people are asking me what to do about things and I'm not sure I'm the person to tell them I had a lot of that at the beginning but once I realized that I could make a genuine difference to people it's been very easy for me to to carry on and actually even occasionally become obsessed with it I just absolutely love what I do. And all the, through the pandemic and through the business model changes, there are times when it's definitely had a negative impact on my my life. But the actual being with my members and with helping them has only ever had a, a positive impact on me. I absolutely love, love doing it. I think that one of the things that came up during COVID was that there was so many of our members were not eligible for government assistance because they weren't making enough profit to get it. And I was like, okay, so this is this is going to be a mission for me now for the next few years to put a stop to that and to make sure that people who are creating these kinds of products, because these are the same products that department stores and, and retailers have been selling and making profits on for decades. But the people who create them and the people who create them and then try to turn them into products themselves are not making any money and are not getting paid. And, you know, that's not right. And I want to make sure that I can help to change that. It, it's had a it's had a hugely positive impact on my life um, doing this. And I get a huge amount of fulfillment out of being able to watch people go through that journey of starting out and not feeling like they can do it. And then just putting a few things in place and seeing actually it's, it's not as difficult as you think it's going to be. And so much of what is stopping you from being where you want to be is about confidence and about mindset and about being able to just ask for what you need from the people who buy from you. Someone asked me the other day what I do for fun. And I started to say, well, I work a lot. And then I realized mid-sentence that I work a lot doing the thing that I do for fun. Because when I'm spending my working hours working on my membership, creating content, talking with my members, doing coaching calls. I'm enjoying the heck out of it. I love this work. And first of all, anybody who starts their own business should be doing something they enjoy. (laughs) But second of all, when you do a membership, or in my case, when I'm doing my membership, I'm not creating content that is like a one-off for this one person I'm talking about. I'm collecting content that others can use, not just now, but in the future, and creating a bank of content that can be used as a reference. And also swimming in this topic that I'm passionate about with other people that, you know, my, my members who also love this topic and enjoy talking about it. 
So I'm hanging out with my people talking about the things that we all want to talk about. And honestly, if we're going to spend this much time in our lives working, shouldn't we be doing it with something that we love? And so it was in that conversation that I realized that, you know, I mean, I, I kind of knew this, I guess, but not so thoroughly as that moment when I was like, wow, I not just run my membership for fun as well as work, but I also, I find joy in that work. And I think that that's an amazing opportunity. So that was Pippa Golden from the PR set, Kayla Gray from Get Messy Art, Nicola Taylor from Maker's Business Toolkit, and Susan from the Introvert Marketing Community talking about how fulfilling having a membership is. And, you know, you were talking a lot about the connections um, that you have with members and being part of their story. And that's something that Pippa talked about as well. And, um, uh, and again, it came up in Kaylee's. It's a recurring theme. I think it was interesting with Kaylee's particular, she talked about, you know, being an immigrant um, yeah. where she is and, and how the true human connection inside her community has really made a massive difference for her personally, as well as, again, Kaylee talking about that, well, I was saying about flexing your muscles and taking everything you're good at and putting them into a business. Yeah. Whereas for Nicola, it was all about that being able to actually help people during the pandemic who weren't able to get help elsewhere. So actually providing a very much needed service that probably stopped a lot of people from going under. Yeah. Being that person who can do that for others. I mean, <laughs> what else can you say? Like, it, does, it doesn't get better than that, really. No, no. And, you know, it doesn't always have to be grandiose. You know, you don't have to be the savior within your space. As Susan's talking about there, just hanging out with your people, working on something that you'd happily do as a hobby, you'd happily do for fun, and finding joy in that work. Like, if every single day that we work brings you that kind of joy and enjoyment, that's a pretty fulfilling life right there. Yeah, we're so lucky to be able to do something that, that we love. We are, and we are really gushing here <laughs> about memberships. We're normally, we're normally like, take a little bit more of a, a cautious, a very much more British view of things where, you know, we would just want to make sure that you're forewarned about some of the, the things you need to be aware of and this, that, and the other. So it, it's a nice little change for us to just wax lyrical about this wonderful world of memberships that we love so much. Yeah, definitely. I think sometimes we we do get stuck on the practicalities and forget to say, actually, you know what? Running a membership can be freaking awesome. It can be. I'm very glad you said freaking then. You didn't <laughs> swear because um, we'd have to change the censorship rating for the show. So, yeah, I mean, when we talk about freedom, flexibility, and fulfillment as being the main ways in which a membership can impact you, we don't look at these as three boxes that you need to tick or one that you need to focus on more than the other. It's kind of like a holy triumvirate of impacts from a membership. A lot of the fulfillment comes from the freedom, from the flexibility. A lot of the freedom comes from having a flexible lifestyle. All of these things kind of work in tandem and make for such a amazing, enjoyable rewarding type of business to run and lifestyle to lead so oh, we're going to stop there before we start crying we'd love to hear from you on membership day although you can you know if you're listening to this later we want to hear from you anyway hit us up on social we are at membership geeks pretty much everywhere it's so much easier now with the membership really geeks. Is, really yeah is. without having to give a rundown of 20 different <laughs> social media links so hit us up on twitter instagram find us on facebook let us know how running a membership has impacted your life or if you've not started your membership yet what's your driving motivation what's your dream what are you hoping it will do for you absolutely and which of the fantastic people that we've heard from today most resonates with you and speaking of those people big big thanks to scott to jim to jenny warren craig pippa kaylee nicola and susan for sharing a little bit of their journey of how running a membership has impacted their lives happy membership day everyone if you haven't already Give some love to your membership, to your members, to the people who make it all possible, to memberships you're part of across social media, hashtag membership day. Let's make this a thing. Yeah. And of course, big love to you guys for listening as well. Yes, absolutely. Oh, hold on. Is this going to be membership day 
And podcast listener day. We need a separate oh, no, podcast but, listener day. But presumably if they're listening to the Membership Geeks podcast, they've got an interest in membership. Exactly. So therefore, you know. They know, they know we love them. <laughs> they know we love them. We appreciate each and every second of your attention that you give to us. Thank you as always. And we'll see you next time for another installment of the Membership Geeks podcast. If you enjoyed this week's episode of the Membership Geeks podcast, we invite you to check out membershipacademy.com. Membership Academy is the original membership about memberships, and it's the essential resource for anyone at any stage of starting, growing, and running a successful online membership business. Whether you're still trying to figure out what your idea is going to be and you need some help making it a reality, or whether your website is already up and running and you're looking for ways to grow and attract new members, then Membership Academy can help you to get to the next level. Not only do you get access to our step-by-step -step membership roadmap, our extensive training library, and exclusive member-only discount and tools, you'll also become part of our supportive, active community of membership owners that will help you along the way in your journey with feedback, encouragement, and advice. All of this and more make Membership Academy the number one place to be for anyone looking to start, manage, and grow a successful membership business. Check it out and join the community at membershipacademy.com.